All right, Deadpool, I'm, I'm on the team bus. What information have you got for me for our next game? Right, okay, so it's FA Cup, right, cool. It's a Manchester side, okay, okay. Is it a big team? Right, it can't be Manchester United. We, we've, it's the first round of the FA Cup. The Premier League teams don't come into it until the third round. It can't be Manchester United. Stop, right, read the team name out to me. Ah, right, okay, it's FC United and Manchester, right? Different side, Deadpool, different team. I, I know it's got all the same words, I get it, but it's not Man United, right? Get Manchester United out of your head. We're not playing them, but we should be okay. We should get past them. So uh, what, what about our next game? No, it, it right, right, stop, stop saying Manchester United. It's not Manchester United. Right, okay. Why are you telling me you're eating pizza for? Okay, I know it's called the Papa John's Trophy, but you don't win pizza for winning the Papa John's Trophy. It's, it, it's just a sponsor. Right, so re re read me the team name. It, it's not Manchester United. Stop lying to me. It can't be Manchester United. Ah, right, okay. Under-23s, okay, so... It's the under-23s teams come into the Papa John's Trophy. I know, I agree. It's a bit of a silly name and a silly confusion, but... So it is Man United, but it's the under-23s. Right, no, no, right, stop, stop. Wayne Rooney doesn't play for them anymore. He plays for Derby. We've already played Derby this year. You're, you're the director of football, right? If you're, if you're mistaken Wayne Rooney for playing for Man United, I'm getting worried, so I'm going to hang up. Make sure he's scouting the right teams, for God's sake. So, uh, Deadpool seems to be obsessed that we're playing Man United today. So, we're not. We're playing FC United of Manchester in the FA Cup. And Manchester United's under-23s. So, we're going to call this a Manchester Special. What's going on guys? My name is Adam, I am a Super Swan, I walk up to episode 11 of the FM21 Deadpool Diaries. I've come back a little bit later than planned because, as I mentioned in the intro, we're playing two Manchester teams today. None of them are Manchester United, so as much as Deadpool wants to think it's Man United, it isn't. We've got FC United in the FA Cup, and then we're playing Man United's under-23s in the Papa John's Trophy, so two big teams, and we're going to focus on the FA Cup first of all. Now, I'm not going to show you the league yet. I'll wait till after the FA Cup game to show you the league and where we are, because uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. So we're going to go ahead with the FC United game, and we're going to go for the team selection. Now, bear in mind, these are a non-league team. They're not even in the Vanarama National North, so they're well, about four divisions below us. So I have put out a very much a rotated team, and this is going to be the side that's hopefully going to be enough to get the win. So we've got Adam Smith in goal, Hart, we've got a youngster coming up from the under 23s we've got, I can't even see his name, it's so uh, so long, Kai Wollard Innocent, he's going to be playing at uh, centre-back. We've got Vassell and Horsfield at the back, Robson and Tom Smith in the middle, with Jewel, Black and Motley Henry on the wings. And we've got Luke Plange playing up front. He's the youngster we got on loan from Arsenal at the end of last episode. So all of our majority first team players are getting rested. And uh, the only real kind of injuries and suspensions to tell you about is Callagher suspended. Unfortunately, Callum Barlow got injured. Now, Callum Barlow is one of our youth intake players from last year. He has come on leaps and bounds since he last left us. He's a three and a half star midfielder. He's got that five star potential. And he could be the man that rises up the leagues through us from our own academy. So keep an eye on Callum Barlow. But he'll be out. He's not going to be featured in this episode. But we're going to get the first FA Cup game underway. We're going to give 31 and 32 to our youngsters. Because, you know, they, they, they don't need proper squad numbers. They're only filling in while the rest of our team are getting rested. But like I say, it should be enough for a team below the National League North to get the win here. So we're going to pump the fists. We're going to say, we've been on a good run lately. I have faith in you. Go out there and make the difference. And I think it's time that we uh, show the Manchester clubs what North Wales is all about. So not a very, you know, not a very far trip from Wrexham to Manchester. As we'll be taking on FC United of Manchester in the first game of this episode. So two cup games 
coming up today. And uh, FC United are on the ball as they cross it in the box, but clean away. And our youngster Jewel, he's got the room here, beats his man for pace. He keeps on going. Can he get a ball in the box or is he going to have to hold the ball up? He puts it in. Motley Henry with a shot. Cannons off the crossbar. We should beat them quite convincingly. On the half an hour mark, we haven't looked really dominated. It's been kind of back and forth. And for a team that's below the National League North, I'm a little bit concerned. I mean, don't get me wrong. We've got a rotated squad out, but it still should be enough. As Linney is through on goal. Linney shoots and FC United are beating Wrexham. They're 1-0 up. And uh, boys, you need to pull your fingers out here. You know, we could be going out of the FA Cup in the first round which I'm sure the board will not be too pleased about. And it's literally route one as Linny gets in the box, takes a shot, and uh, FC United, 1-0 up, straight from the kickoff right. Get a goal straight away. Not good enough. We should be overpowering this team. I know we've got a rotated team, but, you know, they're a team below the National League North. Are you telling me you can't beat a team below the National League North? It doesn't bode well for your futures. And uh, I think it's very clear that FC United are going in with one game plan. And that is hoof it up field and get it to the strikers. So we try a ball of our own as Plange is nowhere near the ball. But we pick that up. Horse field. Long ball to Plange. Back to the defender. Hart in the box now. Can he get the ball in for Jewel? He gets the goal. And our youngster pulls it level at 1-1. Mark Jewell, one of our own from our academy, makes it 1-1. And uh, let's, let, we can stop panicking a little bit. We've got the goal back, but I'm worried that it took a goal from FC United to uh, get us to actually score a goal. But 1-1, there's not going to be a cup set happening today. I wonder if I tell the team that if we lose, I'll just sack them all. Will, will, will that have an effect? Is there a team talk that talks about that? I don't know. But... Uh, yeah, not, not, not really good enough at all, to be honest with you. So we're going to sort of point the finger. Not happy with the performance. And I might have to bring on some first team players to kind of make the difference here. But John Black's on a 6.4. Horsefield's on a 6.4. We got a, you know, much, very much a rotated team out there. I don't think I talked about the team, to be honest. Well, there's the team. If you didn't know, we got Smith and Goal. Hart, Vassell, Horsfield, Robson, Smith, Jewel, Black. I think I think I talked about it. But half time, we're going to bring off John Black. We're going to bring on Adam Phillips. Get a bit of creativity in the middle of the park. We're going to start the second half. We're going to go positive. We're going to go attacking. Try and find the winning goal. I don't want to lose to a team below the National League North. We got because if we lose this game, we got Manchester United coming up next under twenty threes. But Linney's through again. He's the goal scorer. But Smith with an easy save. Come on. 20 minutes to go. It's not looking convincing, but Plange does win the ball. But it is cut out by the FC United defence. And uh, I'm getting a bit nervous. Not going to lie. Because uh, they kind of are all over us. Linney's in the box. But it's blocked by the defender. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, they're playing better than us. They are playing much better than us. Who, who's underperforming here? Tom Smith's on a yellow card. We're going to bring Tom Smith off. We'll bring on... Horsefield can go to ball winning midfield. We'll move Vassell on to right back. Bring Jack Lee off the bench. And we've got... Well, James Horsefield's on a 6.2. So I think we're going to bring Giovanni Brown on for him. Swap them two over? Yeah, that'll do. So we need to try and hold on to the ball a bit. So we're going to go a little bit more direct, lower the tempo a bit. And we're going to distribute to the playmaker. I don't want the centre-back getting the ball. I want the playmaker on it. So uh, that's all the changes made. Come on. We're, we're, we're Wrexham. We should be hammering FC United. As Phillips picks it up, crosses it into the box, cleared away, but Robson should get this. If you're going to make something happen, now is the time to do it. As Jewel's in the box and it is a goal for Wrexham. 2-1 the score. We do finally get ahead, but it's by no means a convincing performance by any stretch of the imagination. But we're winning. That's all that matters. 
and this was meant to be the easy game. That doesn't bode well for when we have to play uh, Man United's under-23s. But 2-1, we are winning the game. It's always dangerous from throw-ins. Throw-ins are never good in this game. I've come to learn that everything bad starts from a throw-in. Throw-ins and kickoffs, never good. As Lenny takes a shot, puts it wide, and uh, I'm going to dial it back to cautious. Coming up to full time, we've been incredibly lucky to get a win in this game. That's going to be a penalty, and Jewel should take it to get a hat trick. And this will be a, a fantastic moment for the youngster if he can get it in. He does get it in. Mark Jewel with a hat trick for Wrexham. A youngster from our academy getting a hat trick in the FA Cup. And, you know, we got there. 3 1. But it uh, wasn't convincing by any stretch of the imagination. I think FC United will be very upset that they've lost this game. But we are going to be through to the second round of the FA Cup. Just about. I mean, FC United I nearly had more XG than we did. But uh, I can say, well done. That was a good win. I'm not going to slag them off too much. But we do get the win against FC United of Manchester. So not Manchester United, like Deadpool seems to think it is. That's, that, that's the next game. But uh, we'll show you uh, that we're through in the FA Cup. We're in for the first round. Wallard Innocent makes his debut. And we'll, we'll tell Mark Jewel he's played well. We'll put our arm around him. He was superb in front of goal. You scored a hat trick. Well done to you. If I show you the competitions, there we are. We are in the second round hat. And you can see all the teams that are in there as well. So we'll find out who our opponents are, hopefully, in this episode. But we're going to focus on the Papa John's Trophy. But before that... I'm going to show you the Skybet League 2 table. You might have already noticed. We are top of the league. And we are top of the league. We're undefeated. We haven't lost a game in the league. And it's between us, Peterborough and Colchester. We're kind of the, the cluster of teams at the top of the league at this moment in time. But yeah, if I show you the schedule, it's been plain sailing since the Bradford game. We did uh, have a bit of a draw rut before you uh, left us. We drew against all the shot Barrow and Rochdale. But since then, we have gone on a massive winning run. Although in the Papa John's Trophy, we have won a game in that competition. We lost to Aquiton on penalties. We lost to Morecambe on penalties. So we have to get a win against Man United to qualify for the next round of the Papa John's Trophy. But yeah, the league looking very, very good. Top of the league. Although there are a few concerns, like uh, you see seen NAR, the only goals he scored this season is on camera. He hasn't scored any more goals. So he's in a bit of a goal drought, which I'm hoping is going to hopefully end at some point. But I'll show you the league table for the Papa John's Trophy. So Man United on 23s, they're through. They're through to the next round. But it's us, Morecambe and Accrington, all on two points. Now, we have to beat Man United and hope that either of these teams draw... Well, either they draw... Well, I don't know. I don't know. There's so many attentions as to what's going to happen, but I'll see you back for the Man United game. Who knows who they're going to play, really? They could put in, I don't know, Cavani, for all I know. But we'll see you for the United game. The second round has been drawn, and we're going against League One Rotherham in the second round. They are, what, second in League One, so a potentially tricky tie there. But we are at the race course, so anything can happen. But uh, let's go get decked by Manchester United under-23s. So the team selection is going to be very kind of rotated. We've got the main 11 back out there, or the strongest 11 we can field. And we'll go for the same formation that we had that good result against Derby with. Because it did work. We just need to make sure we try and get a goal. But all swapping goal. Bramall, Keller, Lee, Wilson at the back, our first choice back four. Phillips, Robson and Gilmore in the middle. So Phillips is going to drop deep as the deep line playmaker to try and ping balls to the players. List on the left, Davis on the right, NAR up front who hasn't scored a goal on camera. Well, he's only scored goals on camera. He hasn't scored any goals off camera. So I'm hoping he can kind of get his goal score and touch back. Because I'm a little bit worried that he's going through a bit of a goal drought at the moment. But let's have a look at my United's team. Who have they got? What oh, doesn't say? It's only my team. Is it my team? No, it isn't my team. What am I all about? But normally I'd see my United's uh, logo there. But they got Diego Dalo. They got a player called Hannibal in there. But anybody else I recognise? No, nobody else. So 
Diego Dallo is the only main man I would say that's in there on the 23s. But we're going to kind of uh, tell them, pop the fists, if we win. If we win, I think we do go through to the next round. I'm pretty sure. But it is Manchester United on the 23s that we're playing. So uh, let's go beat up my United's kids. And uh, that doesn't sound right. Ignore that. Let's go, let's go beat Manchester United's academy side and reach the next round of the Papa John's Trophy. And Phillips plays the ball into Davis. Davis in the box. Davis scores. Perfect start for Wrexham. And if the th- I think we go through if we win. I'm pretty sure we do. I'm, I, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But we're 1-0 up. That's what matters. As Phillips puts the ball in the box. Davis is there. Beats the defence. 1-0. Wrexham are beating Man United. This is under 23s. Free kick. Bramall puts it in the box. Headed by Lee. It's 2-0 to Wrexham. Oh, we're smashing them, boys. We're smashing them. And I thought that we were going to struggle against Man United. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Bring bring on your best players. Bring on, you know, Pogba and Cavani and Rashford. Bring them on. We're hammering them. I've looked at the lively table. And I think Morecambe are winning in their game. And, ah, oh, we, we just conceded a stupid goal. Boys, what are you doing? What, what, what actually happened here? So I'm here saying that we're going through the way things stand. And Allsop passes it to Lee. Lee? He just, just, just passes it to him. <sighs> Stupid goal. Stupid goal. What I was saying was is that I've looked at the live league table and Morecambe are beating Accrington Stanley. But we are still ahead in the league table. So if things stay the way they are, we will be through to the next round. So I'm going to give a pumping of the fists. Tell them, you know, there's a lot more to come. You have what it takes. I've, I've worked out that pumping the fists normally does well. So come on, boys. Come on. We're beating Man United. Okay, it's the under-23s. But we're beating Man United. That's all that matters. So, uh, second half. As long as we don't concede any more stupid goals, hopefully we go through. A few tired legs out there. We got Phillips, Robson and List. All looking tired. I want to keep Phillips on because he's playing well. But Robson, you can make way. You, who can come on for you? Johnny Mitchell can come on for you. And who else is looking tired? List is looking tired. Do I bring on the hat-trick hero, Mark Jewell? I will bring on the hat-trick hero, Mark Jewell. Tactics are staying the same. I'm not going any more offensive. I don't need to. We're winning. We've only got 20 minutes to go. Lee with a free kick. Davis, come on, get one more goal. That'll seal all three points. As Jewell finds Phillips, long ball to find Mitchell. He's on his own. Mitchell scores from the bench. And that is going to be a third goal against Manchester United. This is under 23s. But we've beaten Man United. We're beating Man United. I don't care how old they are. We're beating Man United. Don't quote me on that for God's sake. <laughs> but we're winning. It's 3 1. We're winning. Last change. I think I'm going to bring off Jack Lee. No. No, I'm going to bring off Jordan Davis. I know he scored a goal, but we'll bring on Giovanni Brown for him. So last change made. We're going to beat Man United. Free kick for Man United. They put it in the box. It's off the bar. It's off the post. It was Diego Dallo who got it as well. He shouldn't be allowed in this team. He's a first team player. But we've done it. We beat Manchester United. This is under 23s. But we've beaten Man United. We've beaten Man United. That's all that matters. I'm going to give them an outstretched arms. A good win, boys. Well done. And Wrexham have beaten Manchester United. This is under 23s. But don't matter. It don't matter. That logo says Man United. That's all I care about. Does that mean we're through? It should mean we're through. Yes, we are through to the next round of the Papa John's Trophy. Phillips plays well. He had two assists. We'll put our arm around him. Saying we was superb with the amount of quality of chances he created. And if we look at that league table for Papa John's, yes, we did beat them. Oh, and Walkham dropped points as well. So they drew. So that's good news. So even if we'd have drawn, I think if we'd have gone, I don't know. It doesn't matter. We're through. It doesn't matter. We're through to the next round of the Papa John's Trophy. That's good news. And uh, if I kind of show you the League 2 table again, it's, it's still it's all good news all round. We're top of League 2. We're through to the Papa John's Trophy second round. We're through to the FA Cup second round. 
It's all looking good for Wrexham, I'm not going to lie. It's all looking very, very good. So I think what we'll do is we will come back for... I don't want to show another two cup games. We've shown enough two. We've, got, we've shown enough cup games. We'll come back for Doncaster and Accrington Stanley for the end of the year. So we'll have to keep you updated as how we get on in the EFL Trophy and the FA Cup. Because if we win against uh, Rotherham, the FA Cup will be around January anyway. So we'll come back at the end of December for two league games. I don't think I've shown enough league games this year so far. So Doncaster and Accrington. So by, by the time you come back, hopefully we'll be a little bit further on in the cup competitions. But it's all looking sunny in Philadelphia. I mean, Wrexham. Wrexham. It's all looking sunny in Wrexham. Sorry, Rob. I had to throw that one in there. But leave a like if you enjoyed, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2021 content. We will be uploading Deadpool Diaries every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 6 p.m. GMT. And I'll see you out the year of 2021 with two league games. Can Wrexham keep up the fight? on all fronts. Thank you very much for watching.